Okay, so my students have done a great job, and they have separated the shale and the sandstone uh, by the sans sand and the clay material. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to look at how much energy it takes for sandstone to be deposited versus clay shale. All right, so Daniel, what I'd like for you to do is I'd like you to pour this water into this bottle. Just, um, you know, it's almost full. That's okay. Okay. All right, great. Stop. Now put the can of water. Now shake it up. Ah, come on, shake it. There we go. Now, Ray, I'll go ahead and shake it. Yeah. Now, do you think that this is a lot of energy or just a little bit of energy when you shake it? Mm. Yes, Braille? A lot. A lot. That's right. What about when we set it down? Is it a lot of energy or just a little bit of energy? A little bit. A little bit of energy. Little bit of energy. So if we're talking about lakes and rivers and streams, do you think that this is more like a lake or more like a really powerful river? More like a powerful lake. river. Well, like a river is exactly right, because there's a lot of energy. But if I leave it still, what is it like, a lake or a river? A lake. Yeah, lake. It's beginning to be a lake. You see how it's still moving but slowing down? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now look at the bottom. What do you guys notice at the bottom? Um, more of the sand, more of the bright uh, sand has been gone to the bottom, and some clay, most of the clay is still at the top, but most of the sand got to the bottom first. Perfect, exactly. So, what you guys should realize is that as the energy decreases, you get a different type of sediment settling down to the bottom. Okay? So, when we have a river moving really fast, we're going to have the deposition of the sand, and now that we have a very still lake condition, we're going to have the deposition of the clay material. So, this tells us what type of environment we would expect to find a sandstone in historically and a shale in historically. And when we come back, we're going to discuss how that works.